Good morning everyone. I'm gonna vlog my day here as I go down to get my credentials from Christ for the Nations. A lot of you requested that I kind of share my day with you a little bit, so we're gonna do that. Right now my uncle here is taking me to the airport. Just left about two minutes ago. So I'll get back with you guys when we get to the airport, because trust me, the turnpike's not that exciting. Anyways, thank you all for your support. Catch you in a little bit. Well, I arrived at the airport safely. I don't know got me safely here. Hit a curb on the way up a little bit. What an adventure. So I'm on my way to the terminal now here. Passing E10, so two more. And I'll be at my terminal. It's gonna be an hour till my flight takes off. So, you know, Philly Airport, yay. I actually got through the line pretty fast. Turns out not so many people who travel this time of morning. Might be why the flight was so cheap. Anyway, so let's see, E10. Yeah, see, it's all empty. Kind of interesting, isn't it? That'd be so empty this time of morning. I'm definitely uber excited. Going down to get my minister's license. Step one, a lot of hard, hard work. Uh, yeah, so definitely know I'm all chippered up and ready to go because I normally do not get up this time of morning. But you know, you got to use wisdom when it comes to traveling so that you don't waste money unnecessarily here. Okay, where is E12? I see E11, E16, 12. Ah, here we go. Found E12. Like I said, it's going to be another hour before I take off, so just do a quick check-in. I already know where I'm at. Now that I found my terminal, probably going to get something to eat quick. Yeah, that's what I'll do. Okay, grab something to eat here. Yeah, I'll let you get back to you in a little bit when I grab something to eat. Later. So I stopped at McDonald's and got a nice bite to eat here. I, I know, I'm cheating on healthy eating, but I didn't want to spend an astronomical amount of money on the food here at the airport, so just got an Egg McMuffin, hash brown, and some orange juice. Just so you can have some breakfast, you know. Breakfast is the meal of champions, you know. So, pretty much that's it. I'm gonna check in once we're on the plane and let you guys know how things are going. Peace. Well, here I am aboard our flight. It's a 737 non-stop to Dallas. So just giving a brief check-in, let you know that I am on the plane. Um, going to take off probably in about five or ten minutes. So this will be a short clip. Because, you know, they'll soon tell us to turn off our electronic devices, all that good stuff. So I'm on board, ready to go. Grace and peace, guys. Catch you later. Well, everyone, I have arrived safely in Dallas. You can see my lens is a little foggy from the humidity here, but uh, touched down safely. And I gotta try to figure out where the heck bag check is at and stuff, so bear with me here. I'm gonna check with you later once I find my baggage. So I made it to my hotel room and then found out check-in is until three o'clock, so I found this little mini mall area, so just kind of walking around some shoe stores and whatnot. Not buying anything, mind you, don't have any money to spend anyways, but it's a great way to kill time and enjoy the nice day. The weather really is awesome. It's in the 60s here, so it's amazing. Sorry to you all back home in Pennsylvania where it's in the 30s. Haha, -ha, it's nice and warm down here. At any rate, I'll catch you guys a little bit later because I'm pretty sure they don't want me to film in stores and whatnot, so catch you later. Well, I managed to get in my hotel room a little clear earlier than planned, so you see it's a pretty nice room, nice full-size bed, Wi-Fi, nice flat screen TV. Not that I'll be here that often, but I think I'm going to lay down for a couple hours, try to be there at the Institute by quarter of five, because i got to try to figure out what exact room it's in, it might be pretty big, so anyway, so I'm going to probably lay down until around four o'clock. Get some rest. Quite tired and jet lagged a little bit. Catch you later. 
Well, I'm here at the Christ for the Nations IB building. I'm a little early, so I'm just sitting here waiting for the orientation to start. Sitting in a corner, minding my own business, till I see the rest show up. I'm uber excited. I know I don't always show it because, well, my composure anyways. But it's getting closer and closer to being a realization. So I will check back with you guys later after the orientation and all that stuff. Hope you're enjoying my story so far. I know I'm enjoying my day. I took a good two hour nap after getting to the room because boy that jet lag sure hit me. Anyway, it is beautiful down here in Dallas so catch you later. We just got done with the ceremony rehearsal. The ceremony starts in 15 minutes. I probably won't record too much during the ceremony, you know, being part of it and whatnot. Although I'm going to be recording whatever prayer or prophecy I might receive during the service. I'll put some of that in the Day in the Life log. Maybe not its entirety, but some of it. So, catch you on the other side of the service. Peace out. You kind of step into a new world. You, you, you kind of step out outside the box. You think differently, you see things differently. You're not a, you're not rebellious by any means. You, you're a guy that will follow anybody's plan. But man, you ask questions. You, you wonder why things are done a certain way. And, and if people, they're not secure around you, they kind of get, what in the heck, what is wrong with this guy? No, it's not, it's not because you're trying to be rebellious. It's because it's, 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 you're, you're looking for a better way. Because God, God's designed you that way. Man, I, I don't, I'm going to just really get out there. Uh, I just hear this word systems. Systems. I don't know what that means. Systems. Systems. Kingdom systems. Now, I, God's going to give you plans, ideas, ways, ways to do things that no one else has thought about before. And it's going to set people free, brother. Yes. It's going to set people free. Yes. God's going to use you. Just keep being who you are. And God's going to, listen. God loves the guys like you, man. He loves you because you're, you're you're pioneers. You're able to step into places that no one else has thought of before. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you. Well, guys, sorry for not filming much of the after party from the ceremony. I just got really jet lagged again so I came right back to the hotel room shortly after mingling a few bits posted the picture of me with my uh, <clears throat> credentials and stuff on uh, Facebook and Instagram and whatnot so I'm just watching a little TV and then heading to bed gonna call it a day thanks for joining me in a day of my life getting my credentials um, Look forward to the great things God's going to do. Catch you on the flip side.